You're watching the Fox 5 News at 5. Well, Easter church services across the country very different this year with people having to attend church services online or at home and as opposed to being able to physically attend those services. Now, Pastor Miles McPherson from the Rock Church joins us live right now with uh, what changes he made with his services this week. Pastor, thank you for being with us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Well, one of the big changes is that we partnered with you guys today and we had four services on Fox and we have another one coming up at 6 p.m. So thank you for that. And you guys made a kind donation to our services in our service in the community. So that was also very generous of Fox 5. What was it like for you trying to prepare a service, a message getting ready for this week, which is very unlike any other? Yeah, you know, we, we've been doing online services for several years. Uh, the difference between the last five weeks is that it's only online and there's no one in front of you. And so, you know, I've been speaking a long time, so I'm used to speaking to no one. <laughs> um, uh, but so that part wasn't that big a deal, but it was all the technical things, especially preparing a service for the church platforms that we would, you know, our church online platform and then for television and then for Fox. So it was more of a technical thing, talking to different audiences. But other than that, it was pretty standard for us. Uh, but however, I think that thinking about the focusing on the digital platform and the different ways to reach people on the digital platforms was has been something evolving and growing for us over the last several years. Well, what is um, what was in the mindset for th this week trying to get people prepared and trying to help them deal with all that's going on? Yeah, you know, the Easter message is the most powerful message ever that there's a savior who rose from the dead. Uh, that can actually walk with you through your problems. And so every year that message is the same. You know, Christmas is Jesus was born and East, uh, Good Friday he died and, and then he rose on Easter. The, the difference this year was how to apply it to the COVID-19 uh, crisis. And people have lost their jobs, they're losing their money, their, their, their income is insecure, their retirements are dwindling. Uh, people are scared, people are, are sick. And so how do you apply eternal hope to those problems? And it, it, and so that's really was what I was speaking to was more the application of the same message. And I think people in San Diego and all around the world need to know that there is a savior that can encourage them, can get them through. He's still God. And just as he handles all your other problems, he can handle this problem. What, what, what advice do you give uh, to worshipers who want to make that difference in the community, be an example to others, and now when it's such a hard time where we're being told to stay apart? Well, first, to make sure your relationship with Christ is secure and that Easter is not a religious holiday to you, but it's actually a, a life-transforming event where you give your life to Christ and you start to walk with Him. And people have done that. That's the most important thing because you're not going to go to heaven because you did some good deed. You go to heaven because you've been forgiven and you have a relationship with God. After that, then there's ways to volunteer. I mean, you can, we're, we're fixing 300,000 N95 masks. Uh, people can text the word HOPE to 52525 and volunteer. We have another 250,000 to go. Uh, so we can get those to the medical staff. They desperately need those. We're collecting PPEs, personal protective equipment. Uh, if you want to donate those to the church, we give those to the hospitals, to the Office of Emergency Services. Uh, we have people making masks. We have, if you want to donate blood, you want to give money so we can provide meals for the um, people in the hospitals. We've given over a thousand meals in the last week, and we're going to keep doing that for the next 30 to 60 days, provide how much money we get. So people can volunteer to help people get through uh, COVID-19. We're also going to give uh, meals to um, the elderly. Uh, Dean Spanos gave us money um, and we're going to use some of that money for elderly and some of that for giving out food to people in our church So, and throughout the community. And so uh, people, can, people can be involved in all kinds of ways. A lot of good messages right there. You know you have another service coming up at six <laughs> and we're a part of that. Anything you want to highlight or point out uh, what people can watch out for? Yeah, I, I would just encourage people to watch, the, you know, Fox 5. They can watch it at Fox 5 at 6 o'clock. They can go to sdrock.com at 6 o'clock. Listen to the message and, and ask yourself, is Jesus your Savior? Don't be those people who just go to church two times a year and check the box and think God's good with that. 
he wants to be your father. He wants a relationship. And just visiting him and acknowledging him twice a year isn't, isn't going to cut it for him. And it's going to cheat. You're going to cheat yourself out of the powerful, life transforming relationship that can come uh, uh, by surrendering your life to Christ. I, st- I stopped doing cocaine in one day when I surrendered my life to Christ. So I would tell people, watch at six o'clock, listen to the message. And at the end, you're going to have an opportunity to give your life to Jesus and establish a relationship that will transform your life. Pastor Miles McPherson from The Rock Church joining us tonight with the service coming up at 6 o'clock. Thank you so much for sharing those messages with us. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor.